CNN did a report on Reverend Wright. You remember him from 2007, the pastor that scared all of white America? Uh, actually, that's not, that's not true. Only scared Republicans. <laughs> and the rest of the country was like, we don't care what this guy said. Does that mean Obama believes everything he believes? Who cares? It's not a big deal. Well, anyway, uh, he spoke to the teachers union in Chicago, and CNN is going to turn a, a substantive criticism into a personal story. So Reverend Wright is doing a substantive criticism of Obama, but they're going to ignore that and just make it about, like, personal beefs here. This is CNN 101. He went on to compare Dr. Martin Luther King's famous quote, I have a dream, to the Obama administration, saying for the president, quote, I have a drone. We were able to capture part of this on a camera phone. The truth about our politicians and the policies of this country, every Tuesday morning there's a kill list that the president decides who we gonna kill this week. That's not the man of peace that you just talked about. That's a man controlled by government. It's a government based on militarism, racism, and capital. We need to teach the truth, even if it's painful. Wright left the event avoiding cameras. The president of the Chicago Teachers Union, Karen Lewis, defended Wright's comments when he compared himself to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Wright argued that the famed civil rights leader was reduced to only, quote, sanitary sound bites, just as Wright says he had been reduced to sound bites. Well, I think we always focus in on a very small portion of the work he was trying to accomplish. And very few people actually take that one step further. So um, Dr. Wright has clearly done that. Um, these are the things that we talk about when we talk about social justice. CNN political analyst John Avalon says Wright took the opportunity to do major political acts grinding. Well, it's pretty clear that Reverend Wright feels betrayed by President Obama. The two were very close at one time. But here he is directing all those attacks about racism, classism, and the U.S. as a militaristic power at President Obama. It's something falling out. George Howell, CNN, Chicago. So they tried to turn a criticism that Reverend Wright had of Obama into, you heard him, oh, well, the only reason why he's doing this is because he has a personal, uh, you know, beef with Obama now because Obama had to throw him under the bus in that campaign. And what's your evidence for this? You have no evidence for this. You're just speculating. You're just saying, I think that's what, uh, that's the case because... He should be supporting Obama, what, 100% in everything Obama ever does, ever? And then here's the more infuriating part. If CNN did their job and they wanted to run this story, you're supposed to take what Reverend Wright says there and fact check it. And if he's wrong, okay, put him through the fucking ringer and say, he's wrong and we're going to explain to you why he's wrong. But for example, when he says, oh, yeah, he's, Martin Luther King has, I have a dream, Obama has, I have a drone. Okay, number one, that's witty, but that's irrelevant. The main uh, focus is here, is it true that Obama is using drones more than his predecessor, George W. Bush, and that uh, it, you know, is maybe fueling more terrorism and we're killing a lot of civilians? Are, are those thing cor things correct? Absolutely! So he's right in saying that, okay? I mean, we have a chart here that shows exactly what happened with the drones. Under George W. Bush, he was using them less. Neoconservative war hawk George W. Bush was using drones less than great liberal Barack Obama. So Reverend Wright is right. Also, drones have a 98% failure rate, okay? Only 2% of the time we're hitting top Al-Qaeda uh, operatives. 98% failure rate. We've killed thousands of civilians, including women and children. We just recently blew up a wedding. It was either in Pakistan or Yemen, I forget where. It was a wedding. They said, I don't know, we thought they were insurgents in Al-Qaeda, so we, we blew them up. Really? Uh, so you shouldn't be saying, you know, focusing on the personal aspect, you should be talking about how Reverend Wright is correct, objectively speaking. Now, also, he mentions the thing about Obama's kill lists. And, you know, the CNN audience, oh, my goodness, this rowdy Negro says talking reckless. But Obama does have kill lists. That's been widely reported. So, again, he is factually correct. Why are you not bringing that up?